many people in here like action movies? Yeah, right on. <laughs> All right, so you guys have probably heard of Bruce Lee, right? Yeah. The Kung Fu master. Yeah. So as a Chinese American myself, I feel that it is important to talk about this great hero who united people across the globe and America. Because in our present society today, we're surrounded by a plethora of different people of different races who can live in peace and harmony among one another. So today I'll talk to you about how Bruce changed the image of Chinese people across the globe through his philosophies, movies, and his questionable death. Now I'll begin by talking about his philosophy during his ascension to fame. So Bruce was born in San Francisco, and he later majored as a philosophy major in the University of Washington at Seattle. He often questioned the meaning of life and his existence. He always thought that he could apply himself somehow for the greater good. So, during the time when he began influence with pop culture, it was the time of the 1960s. And during the time, what was going on was the civil rights movement and Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Other things that were going on around the world was the great space race with the United States against Russia, and also in China, Chairman Mao's cultural revolution. So thus, tensions were pretty high among different countries. Bruce had the philosophy that he would teach Kung Fu to anyone who wanted to learn. He saw a world of color rather than black or white. And thus, he got so many students that he ended up opening a Kung Fu school in Seattle. During the time, he participated in a lot of martial arts tournaments, and then in one of the tournaments, he happened to meet film producer William Dozier, who also produced famous films and series such as Batman. Now I'll talk to you guys about how he used his fame and stardom to share the Chinese culture. So Bruce started out as Cato in the Green Hornet. According to biography.com, he was quoted, too fast for the frame rate of the camera. Americans were definitely wowed by him. They hadn't seen like people do Kung Fu in a long, long time. He was dubbed as a Chinese hero in Asia. And thus, he restored virtues for the Chinese people because in the past 100 years, Chinese people were often poor and uneducated who worked on the railroads. And thus, he attracted celebrities to learn Kung Fu, such as Steve McQueen and James Coburn. Though Bruce Lee was not able to gain a major role in Hollywood, he eventually signed a contract and went back to Hong Kong with Golden Harvest Studios and produced the film that was the peak of the stardom, The Big Boss. IMDb, the movie watchers reviewing website, quotes that thousands of Chinese fans flocked to the movies just to watch their nation's hero. Thus, you can see that Bruce was truly loved and truly adored. Thus, he was also able to attract the attention he needed from Hollywood to be brought back by Warner Brothers to film the movie Enter the Dragon. Lawrence Tan from the website Tan Dao says that Bruce fought Hollywood racism and Asian stereotyping, and basically, he won. So thus, when all was against him, he could still overcome. I know you guys are really excited to hear about more like that Bruce Lee did and more movies he participated in, but sadly, now I gotta bring up his death. During the climax of his fame, six days before the release of the movie Enter the Dragon, he fell into a coma in which he never woke up. So doctors from all around the world came together and united to try to find what was wrong with him. They ended up finding that he suffered an allergic reaction from one of the painkillers he took because he had a headache the day before and thus caused swelling in the brain. Though it was sad that Bruce died and the world lost such a pivotal hero, the fact that even after Bruce's death he was able to bring people, like doctors of different cultures and different races together to work in harmony was definitely something special. Tim Kwok from Visual Communication says that Bruce was not only an icon for many of us U.S. Asian Americans, but for everyone around the world. And thus, Bruce was truly someone special. All in all, Bruce was, <coughs> was someone spectacular. 
from starting kung fu schools to finding the purpose of life, he, sh he really did a lot. And thus, his success changed the world in the face of the Chinese people through his philosophy, his acting, and his death. Not everything was just done by Martin Luther King or all the protest <coughs> movements. Bruce also influenced the pop culture through the media and the film industry, and he paved the way for other Asian actors, such as Jackie Chan and Jet Li, who are still making movies in our present time today. So, as a brilliant thinker and kung fu master, the world will forever remember the impact that Bruce Lee had upon the world.